All right, today we're going to talk about the Cranmer Abacus, which is a great tool that can be used by students to do math calculations without the use of a calculator or paper and pencil. The abacus is divided um, into place values with the 13 rods. Starting from the right side, this is your ones flyer, the tens, the hundreds, thousands, the ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million, hundred million, billion, ten billion, hundred billion, all the way up to trillion. And so the way we set, and if you look at the beads, we have the, the earthly beads, which are the ones on the bottom, and those are each worth one, and the heavenly beads at the top are worth five. When you push a bead to the center rod there, that's when it becomes to have value. So if you look at this abacus, this is number one. That is how you would set one. If you add another bead, you have two, three, four, and then to set a five, we clear the bottom and we have the five bead on top. Very good. And so, um, with the upper bead set, we can continue counting to six by setting one more lower bead. And seven has two lower beads, eight has three lower beads, and nine has all four lower beads as well as the upper bead set. There are no more beads to set in the ones column, so to set the number ten, we set one lower bead in the second column, which is the tens place, and um, we have a zero on the ones wire now. So let's set more numbers and see how that looks. Um, so to set the number 47, first you would set a four in the tens column, and then set seven in the ones column. So we have four tens, and then we have a five, six, seven. All right. To set the number 810, first we clear the abacus like this. We set an 8 in the hundreds, we set up 110 in the, in the tens place, and we leave nothing in the ones wire representing a zero. That's 810. All right, another example would be 2,508. There's the, there's the thousands column. 2,000, 500, zero, 08. Okay. And that's addition on the abacus. Addition is done on the abacus using direct and indirect methods. Direct addition is simple. First, you clear your abacus, like we have this here, and you work the problem 2 plus 2 equals 4. So you set a 2, and then you add 2 more beads on the bottom, and you have 4. That's pretty simple. This is an example of direct addition. Next, work the problem 6 plus 3. First, set a 6, and then add 3, and you have 9. So that's another example of direct addition. But then we have indirect addition. Um, and this requires the use of logical exchange or memorizing um, combinations that add up to 5 and add up to 10. Um, so let's try 4 plus 3. So we set a 4 and we want to add 3, but we don't have any more lower beads. So we must set the 5 bead, but we added too many, and so we need to clear 2. The answer should be 7. Okay. Another problem using indirect addition, let's try 8 plus 9. So first set the 8 in the 1's column, and there are not enough beads in the 1's column to add a 9. So you will set one bead in the column next to the left, which is actually adding a 10. But we add a 10 instead of adding um, 9. So 10 minus 9 is 1. That must mean we must clear 1 from the 1's wire. And the answer should be 17. Very good. All right, let's try some larger numbers. How about 32 plus 12? First set a 3 in the 10s, and then a 2 in the 1s. Take 32. So when adding, tw when adding um, 12, we would like to add, we go to the ones wire, and we would add two ones, which we have. So we just put the two up there. Then we have to add a 10. And so we add a 10 on the, on the next rod, and our answer should be 44. So that's five. Let's try 669. plus 
333. So we're going to start by trying to add a 3 on the 1's bar if we don't have it. We go to the 10's rod and we add a 10 by pushing that up. We added 10, we only wanted to add 3, so 10 minus 3 is 7, we must clear 7. Now we go to the 10's rod, we want to add another 3, and we can't do it again. So we added another, we added 100, when we added 100, we only added, wanted to add 30, so we cleared 70. And then on the 100's rod, we want to add a 3, which we cannot do. So we add 1,000, and we only wanted to add 300, so we have to clear this number 7. So our answer should be 1,002. And you see 1,000, and then two zeros, and then a 2. Okay, now for the abacus for subtraction. So first, um, just like um, addition, subtraction can use direct or indirect methods. So first we'll work the problem 9 minus 2 by using direct subtraction. So we start with a 9 on the 1s, and we need to subtract 2, so we can simply clear two lower beads. And the answer is 7. That's, a, that's clear and pretty easy to do. Um, now the next one, let's try 38 minus 16. Okay, so we want to clear um, 16, and we need, do we have six ones in the ones column? Yes, a 5 and a 1 make 6, we've subtracted 6. Then we go to the tens, and we need to clear one ten. And our answer should be 22. And that is also direct subtraction. Now we'll try an example of indirect subtraction. So we'll try 7 minus 3. So there's 5, 6, 7. And we're going to subtract 3, which we don't have 3 beads on the bottom to clear. So we're going to clear 5 beads. We've taken away 5, and we only wanted to take 3, so we must um, pay back 2. And our answer is 4. All right, next problem, 26 minus 9. So we have a 2 in the 10's wire, a 6 in the 1's wire, and we want to clear 9. We do not have 9 beads on the 1's wire, so we must clear a 10 and pay back 1, because 10 minus 9 is 1. And, our, and then our answer should be 17. One in the tens wire and seven in the ones. All right, one more example. Um, 52 minus six. You have a five in the tens rod and two in the ones. We want to clear six. We do not have six on the bottom on the ones. And we don't have six um, handy on the tens. What we, we can do is we can clear a 5 and push up 4. We've cleared 110. Um, so now what we want to do, we've, we have, we've cleared 10 and we only wanted to clear 6. So we must pay back 4. So, be, so we bring down a 5 and clear 1. And our answer should be 46. Very good. That's it. Thank you.